Alright, so let's do this. Welcome back to the third episode of the Austrian campaign using the Imperial Splendor mod for Empire Total War. And we are about to declare war upon Venice because they captured Athens. And, uh, well, that's, uh, that's rightful Austrian clay, of course. It's sort of a rich ter uh, it's sort of a rich city as well, so... You know, let's dominate the Balkans, otherwise uh, this entire endeavor uh, against the Ottoman Empire would have been, well, not completely pointless, but, you know, that little bit of money always helps, so uh, let's try and do this. Let's declare war, let's not call our allies, they do have an ally in the Italian states. However, that's completely okay, and uh, I guess we can't pass through because... Oh, because we have <laughs> we have an agent there, okay. So now can we pass through? No, we can't. Oh, that's very interesting. Is it because is because of these guys? Let's try and clear them out. And now we can do this. Demand surrender, not quite. I do have some guard infantry, but I think uh, against these guys it's gonna be quite sufficient just to auto resolve it. And yep, there we go, completely fine. Let's uh, repair the most useful things. And uh, so now we hold Greece. That kicked up our income quite a bit. And now let's take on Venice itself. And as we can see, they do have quite a bit of uh, actual force there. However, because it is a world city, they do have uh, improved settlement fortifications. I don't deem it wise to just charge in and uh, deal with that head-on because, you know, we don't want to necessarily take unwanted casualties. So what we'll do... Are they actually happy? Yes, they are. Quite surprising. I guess they... Well, I guess it's better than living under uh, under control of the... Here. I can, re no, can we replenish? We didn't, they? take actually that many casualties. Yeah, we can replenish some bits and pieces here and there. Let's just rep replenish the guards because that's the most important thing at the moment. Let's also merge the cavalry uh, because that's uh, going to be quite poignant. So, situation quite clear. Captured Greece. That's all really needed, but uh, if you manage to get Venice out of it, that's going to be completely fine. I think it's actually going to be quite beneficial. So far, you know, trying to kill them while they're weak, and because we saw that they lost quite a sizable army due to the Ottoman navy very recently, I think it is going to be completely fine. Um, they might try and actually... Um, okay, so this is our territory, but they're holding it. Okay, so Crete comes with Greece, with Athens, basically. Very interesting, very interesting indeed. So they do have quite a sizable navy. We don't have any navy at all, so that's that's okay. We do have some Indian men here, which, you know, it's a shame that you can't actually... How many people hate us? Uh, well, some. The Ottomans, mostly. But now we can actually trade with some people, other than the... Uh, the, the, the. Let's trade with Denmark. Try and do that. Nope. Attitude. So the, the British are very friendly. That's all that really matters to us. Do you want Bulgaria for this little irrelevant region? That's not going to happen. What about minor nations? Hanover. No. Well, this is just in general, this is just the thing that always happens in Imperial War. Do you want to trade with like the third biggest empire in the world? Because, you know, who knows? It's the AI. But we are at war with the Italian states and Venice, and we have a lot of trade partners, a lot of allies, basically the entire Central uh, European and the Central and Eastern European por portion that is in Russia. And we also have. Um, Britain on our side, so maybe actually if we called in all our allies, the Italian states would have stayed out of it, but, you know, that's completely okay. The, the Italian states, oh, ally attacked, aggressive France against Spain. Oh, defender Piedmont Savoy. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna go to war over Spain over Savoy. That's just not reasonable, because we just started a war. If I knew that was coming, might have changed my plans, might have asked for um, for military access through 
through um, Venice and gone and taken that little Spanish settlement that's there. Might have invaded. Okay. This nation has declared war upon you. Oh. Okay, so the Ottomans are here. Let's call everyone in. So Westphalia didn't agree. That's completely okay. It's not a British. The Germans and everyone is at war with the Ottomans. So we started a, a new crusade, basically. Um, that's... Yeah, well, that's fine. I don't think they'll be able to retake Istanbul because we have a lot of uh, a lot of units stacked there. But uh, you know, if they try, then that's completely okay. There's Savoy kicking some all uh, kicking some ass of the was it the French or the Spanish? I think it was the French. I don't remember. Oh, there we go. Here's a battle. So I think we'll be able to just completely stomp these guys. But. Uh, I'll see you on the battlefield. Okay, so I'm in the middle of deploying our forces. Let's check how the uh, line of infantry actually looks. And they look magnificent. Oh my goodness. That's much better than, uh, you know, this little, um, whatever that is. This abomination of, <laughs> of terribleness. Avoid charging your cavalry on yeah, right. Um, hmm. Okay, so they deployed in a very odd manner towards us, and I think, uh, just because that's the case, we should be able to try and just quickly, um, just quickly march up and catch them while they're sort of redeploying. We do have fire by rank, they shouldn't have anything of the sort. Let's get our cavalry something left around there. I don't think we're gonna use... Okay, so... That's a lot of that. That's a lot of damage. Um, <laughs> so they did that. Okay, I completely forgot about repositioning my general. However, you know, let's do something like this. Uh, the the Panduran. I guess they could work as an artillery fodder unit, but I think it's just let's just use them something like that. And actually, no, oh, actually, they're being reinforced from way over here with. Um, at least some marines, that's nice, and some armed citizenry, okay, well, that's gonna be fairly useful, what's this, that's, uh, okay, German regiment, betrayal, I smell betrayal, this is an Austrian regiment, how dare you guys, how dare you go against the mighty empire, but there we go, first combat, and we are demolishing them, as it should be Get our, uh, let's get our cavalry slowly, slowly trying to get to those uh, to those mortars. Um, I think this guy's running actually because we do want them in range. These guys are gonna get completely slaughtered. The Germans uh, should have known better. Should have known better and uh, shouldn't have gone against the mighty Austrian Empire. Uh, well, at this time, at this period of time, the only really uh, worthwhile. <laughs> Empire and the uh, when it comes to like the HRE or like the various Germanic realms, and that's it. Those guys are shattered. That's completely okay. Shouldn't have to hunt them down. Got uh, quite wrecked there, my friend. Got quite wrecked. So we have yeah, we've guard them all. These guys should enable guard. Them. Actually, do these guys have fire by rank? I think they do. Yeah, they do very much. So even the no, oh, that's line infantry. Okay, these guys have fire by rank. No, they don't. Okay, they still do quite a lot of damage with their with their volleys. So I think that's completely fine. These guys, yep, still line of infantry. So the Germans are now breaking, which is completely fine. The German regiment of foot. Our general is under attack. Okay, okay. So let's let's scoot him back. Did lose a couple of men there. It would have been terrible to actually lose him. And let's send one regiment of cavalry to just hunt them down, to just get some nice kills on those guys. And uh, the reinforcements aren't actually doing anything. Actually, we now should be able to just do something like this, surround those guys. It's gonna be nice. Come on, kill the Germans. Kill, kill the traitors. Kill the traitors of the mighty Deutsch race. Uh, yep, there we go. There we go. Uh, so these, uh, the Austrian regiment completely getting completely so Another Austrian regiment, and they do actually have fire by rank. I'm very much surprised by that. 
thought that I wouldn't have anything of the sort. Can we get a couple of volleys before the... Yeah, we have to reposition now. But we just in time managed to break those guys. That's very good. That's very nice. Very good indeed. Now let's wait for the second. Actually, let's just completely reposition. Something like this is going to serve quite nicely. Get the cavalry ready to smash into the flanks. Where are these guys? Yeah, I'm sure. Join the main front. And, uh, yep, yeah, now we can just uh, slowly await the onslaught. Um, because they have increased range, we'll have to do something like this. Scoot a bit forward. They aren't... the opponents aren't actually making use of their range. They do have some... <laughs> Those guys don't even have a fiber bank. What are these guys? Oh, that, that's leftover of the Austrian regiment, of course, of course. Um, slots are cavalry. Let's scoot air cavalry, something like that. Uh... Sort. I think we should be able to just completely overrun the Armlock Farm's uh, citizenry, basically. Uh, because they're just uh, both units fresh. Very nice. Uh, where is their general, their general unit? That's Light Horse. I guess they didn't want to go against our mighty Hussarin. Hussarin. Yes, indeed. Um, these guys losing terribly. The Grundy's not doing that bad, but should be able to completely uh, destroy and dismantle them. Let's do something like this. Nice flank shots. Uh, I think it's not really shots, but flanking maneuvers. Um, they are actually coming within range, which is very surprising. Very surprising. These guys actually sustain major casualties. Some damage done, but not not major. Not major stuff. Yep, there we go. Crashing through. That should immediately make them waver. Yep, and eventually. Uh, are they shattered yet? Shattered. No, th these guys are broken. How oh, dare they just be broken? It's another unit of Firelock Armored Citizenry, but let's make our guy scoot a bit back and um, we should be completely able to dom dominate this combat right here. N not uh, so fast about using. Let's just charge forward into them before they have any sort of chance to fire through. Yep. There we go, shattered, shattered, very nice, very nice indeed. Uh, where are the broken guys? Shattered, yeah, I guess they returned and now they're shattered. Let's do some nice flanking shots here. These guys got charged, however that's completely fine, just got some better bayonets. So don't have to worry about plugging, unplugging them. Well, actually you can't unplug them. And these are light horses. How? No, let's not engage yet, we do not want unnecessary casualties. These guys can deal with that. And let's let's retreat back with those horses. Uh, yep, yep, yep. There we go. Very nice, very nice indeed. Now these guys should get some major damage from those, and now we can charge them. They well, that so that was their general. Okay, very good. So our main line is holding steadily. Uh, yeah, the Grandiers are gonna die. Far Lagom are gonna die. Those guys are gonna die. Very good battle, uh, very quickly mopped up the enemies, uh, that was basically two armies, well one and a half stack mostly. Um, the artillery, very pointless, didn't do a damn thing, well, killed, killed some cavalry, but these guys are very cheap and easily replaceable. So let's get some let's get some guys running after them. They're fresh, these guys seem to be always fresh, that's very good. And um, yeah, so let's, uh, let's do this. So cavalry actually played a major role in this fight because uh, because actually I don't want to get those guys just completely shot up. So what we might do is again do something like this, just to surround them. Uh, some units actually took quite a heavy. Oh no, no, not a general. <laughs> it's not used a general. I thought for a minute for a minute that one of our units. Oh, so these guys can only use melee. Okay, so they ran out of ammunition. Oh, that's a big problem. Most of my guys actually ran out of ammunition. So let's... Uh, these guys are the marines. Okay. So... The, they don't have much ammunition, these guys. And bam. Charge in. Should have some nice combat. They are using swords. That's very surprising. Oh, I guess they are marines. What are they? So are they, sh they it's actually kind of acceptable. And end battle, nice, close, close victory. Completely dominated them. But okay, I guess whatever. 
and we lost 335 men and they lost 1100 more so I don't really get how that was a close victory that seems more like an absolute domination I think now we can just safely auto resolve yep and the entirety of Venice should be at our mercy. Uh, so that was those guys trying to get back. These guys blocking port. Doesn't do a damn thing again. Saxony fell finally to the Bavarians. Which happened like two turns ago. So, yeah, I s of course I skipped a bit just because, you know, a the build up. Uh, Bosnia. Yep, very nice. Um, so, took kind of, kind of a hit in the financial sector, but Venice is ours. Nice, very good, very good. Very good indeed. Um, Trade gained. Model to battle. Uh, army quite, quite beaten up. Trade agreement cancel. Oh yeah, because they declared war. Of course, that's how these things work. Um, so now do we just quickly make a striking force take out Petras? What sort of stuff do they have? Ah, it's okay. So now our income, yep, they pretty much doubled. Um, so Venice is almost completely out of the picture. What we could do, uh, what's this army all about? That's uh, some guards, but should be fairly easily able to dismantle that force. Um, get half of these guys out. And maybe, maybe the general as well. They're unhappy. Only two though. Hmm. So let's actually move those the cavalry back and let's again the agent getting in the way and uh, let's quickly just save here. I do want to auto resolve this. Victory, okay good. Um yeah, so Venice Nation destroyed. Very nice. They put up quite a hell of a battle though. Um I mean killed three hundred Aus Austrians, that's that's a bunch. Um, not really, but you know, it's better than if they killed nothing, I suppose, uh, to them. Uh, let's not do that. We don't really need to do th that. These guys completely fine. Um, well, not, not completely fine, but you know, it's uh, it's something. This agent doesn't need to be here, however. Uh, actually, the that's a trading port. So what we might want to do is slam. Very poor. Interesting. Oh yeah, that's sort of just a just a Balkan region. <laughs> that's uh, essentially just a Balkan region. Um, yeah, but these guys... Uh, maybe let's not... Yeah, let's not uh, bother with like... Try and get some replenishment actually on the infantry divisions instead of the cavalry divisions. Yep, that's gonna be very good. Very good indeed. 5,000! Oh, because they were blockading our trade, right, and because we destroyed their nation and everything despawned. Okay, so let's see, uh, would the... Okay, a lot of people hate us now. Would the uh, Italian states... Uh, God damn it. War. Italian states, were they willing to peace out? No. Okay, so we just wait for their attack because the walls are still intact. We'll just... Um, do have a single guy cable, um, artillery, I mean, but that's going to be completely uh, weak against our force. And there we go. Greece is ours, northern Italy is ours. We have quite a sizable chunk of income, and the Ottomans are at war with us again for some reason. So eventually, you know, they probably won't be able to get past this. Um, well, it's just militia, it's just line of infantry, militia line of infantry, basically. But they don't really have much of an army of their own, um, so, you know, it's uh, not like I'm really worried about Actually, let's get, keep a spy here. Oh, so there's an army. Well, not an army, it's there's a unit. Um, there's a battalion on the march. And, uh, yeah, so let's go to the next turn. Um, we could possibly also just pay off the Italian states. Trade agreement. Well, they want 900. Or they're hostile. But they want a trade agreement, they're willing to pay almost a thousand. I mean sure. Let's do that. That's that's sort of unreasonable. Oh, and the Russians are back on war march, so now they have Danzig again, or Dan Dansk. Uh, I prefer the word Danzig. It's so 
It just sounds so cool, like Danzig. There's so much power behind it, but, you know, what do I know, I guess. Um, but yeah, the so the Ottomans declared the war on us, and now half the world is against them. Half of, well, Europe, basically. Um, I don't remember if there's still a war with Russia. I have to check that. If so, then two of the biggest uh, empires in, uh, in all of Europe is basically pointing their guns at, uh, at the Ottoman Empire, who is now... Oh, uh, an Asia only, uh, Asia only, uh, what do you call it? Empire. It's the Empire for Asians. Little Asians. The ruling class As in the Little Asia. 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 Uh, these guys. Who is Letter of Demands? Venetia. Oh, they're very unhappy. Well, I guess that's completely fine. I don't really mind that. Let's repair all of this with the little funds that we do still possess. Or that we possess now. I guess the Italians retreated into Rome, which is okay, because we smashed their ally. Pigeon detected, yep. And trade gain, research points for military technologies, very, very nice. So that's gonna do upkeep, minus upkeep, minus... Yep, that's very good. That basically, um, yeah, basically does away almost completely with firebar rank, that's minus 6, this is minus 5, but minus 3, 4 recruitment costs all land uh, things. And um, these guys still not very happy, however I'm very surprised that Greece was just completely fine with us taking over. So we now can scoot up this agent a little bit north. Um, because we actually get the peace agreement, the Italian states will be completely, completely fine. Nope. They're at war with Austria, Spain. Oh goodness, that's not gonna go well for you, my friend. It's not gonna go well for you at all. But yes, yeah, six thousand. Damn. That's 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 quite a sizable income, if I do say so myself. So next turn we'll uh, repair this army, well, replenish this army, hopefully. And then we'll work on these armies. Uh, I'm not sure why I bothered with the guards for Greece, but I just want to make guards. And as it, turned out, as it turns out, they're going to be very useful when taking on uh, the, the rest of the Ottomans or the Ottomans that are left. I might want to destroy this and just... Actually, maybe no, because it's going to serve as a nice uh, invading... You know, nice... Um, I don't know. Staging ground for invasion of Cairo. Actually, I didn't think of that, but we do have a good dockyard here. And uh, military governor's barracks fully upgraded with which we can get some line of entry. And some nice dragoons and hussars. So, and also a sizable army here. So my, what we might do is just keep the, um, the militia garrisoning these two. And uh, build up an army and actually invade Egypt, which... Basically, reds. This army could go and invade uh, Ankara or Anatolia. This army could go and invade Egypt, and then the Ottomans are stuck with um, basically just the Middle East, just the Levant. Uh, however, I don't think we'll be able to hold Egypt for very long because there's uh, there's obviously the Barbary states right there, and also getting it getting to it would be quite a pain. So it might be easier just to go through actually do something like this because all of these are potentially very uh, very rich territories not so much Armenia and um, Palestine but Syria, Egypt, uh, Mesopotamia and of course uh, Anatolia those are very uh, very well built up territories so you know that's sort of the core region of the Ottoman Empire that little uh, this little area basically you know I suppose what would become the Egyptian colony of the British Empire in the late 19th, early, early 20th century. Yep, this little area, very, very good for finances. So uh, let's, uh, okay, so they're slowly building up an army in Anatolia. That's completely okay with me because we're all just going to smash it and then smash it again. But it's sort of interesting to see how just, how damn... Uh, how damn violent this war between the Polish and the Prussians has been. Okay, so there's a big army going there. There's a big army and the Ottoman Empire that's 
on the border region. Oh, that's actually kind of worrying. But, you know, we've killed hundreds of them. We'll kill them again. If they come for Istanbul, we'll just have to kill them again, you know. Eh, how it is. So, you know, quickly mop up the Italian states. Well, you know, the quickly part is sort of questionable. But, you know, hopefully it's gonna be okay. Um, We do hold half of Europe, so it's sort of reasonable that... Oh, okay, there are the Italian states. Finally, finally uh, attempting some sort of... Um, violence against the uh, peaceful Austrian Empire. Wonder if uh, no, Prussia not very happy with us. That's completely normal, I think. That's good. Okay, so how about a trade agreement? Yeah, Pardon me, I'm not willing to pay you. A lot of demands. Venetia. Venice. Again. I don't care. I'll just kill everyone. <laughs> just kill everyone. Um. So, what's this army looking like? Uh, some hobbitsers, actually guards, uh, some line infantry, but, you know, you don't actually have more men than them. There's actually classical university, which even we don't have, so that's gonna be very nice. It's a very good capture. Uh, ver yep, of course. So, actually, the, the nobility is happy with us, but. Not quite the, the peasant population, or sort of the more middle classy population, or many peasants living in northern... Okay, so what's this army all about? So there's a lot of cavalry. Not sure how that's gonna help you in a siege battle. There's uh, melee infantry with low morale. Um, so we might want to do... Uh, actually, we can't get any... Oh, we can. So let's build up another militia unit. And let's try to do something with that. Um, however, not sure how viable it is to actually siege Istanbul from this portion. I don't think you can, can you? Well, actually, like, I mean, if you look at the um, Istanbul in um, sort of a actual geographical position, half of it or a portion of it is here, portion of it is here. That's why it was able to make so much money. So, you now in reality, they would be able to, but because of the way how province is working this game, I don't think they actually can. Maybe we'll see. Um, hmm. So, Venice, that's probably gonna hold strong. This army's gonna do nothing. And still making 6,000 a turn. Very, very nice. Uh, so let's... Hmm. Could kill this guy, he's been bothering me for the last, like, 20 turns. How's our yep, 14 regions held? Oh, I'm definitely making it up there. Oh, okay, quite a good city. I mean, if they capture Istanbul, it's gonna be completely okay. We'll just capture it again after a few turns. Because, um, you know, the entirety of sort of southern, uh, southern, hmm, southeastern? I suppose southeastern Europe is firmly within our grasp, so you know we'll just go again. You know, capture Istanbul. <laughs> okay, they're actually retreating. <laughs> okay, but no, they're they're back at it. Hmm. Quite curious. Those masterful tactics. I mean, that just lets us build up some more troops in Istanbul. So I mean, I guess I'm fine with that. Um, maybe I'll try assassinating the general. I wonder how that's gonna go. But, you know, the assassins and Empire's of War never quite do anything. I mean, the... Even the AI tries to use them quite a lot, but doesn't do anything. And when you use them, it does even less. So, hmm. Oh, so the Italian state's not actually quite going for the attack just yet. Brandenburg, um... Not Brandenburg. Jesus. Bavaria, yeah. The Bavarians just dancing around. Just dancing around. Okay, there we go. A revolt. Phew, that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of light light infantry we have there. So if we were to let's quickly save here. If we were to just do this, would they be reinforced? No. How many casualties? Only one hundred, okay. Completely ruined. Again? Okay, not revolt crushed. <laughs> Very nice. Um, okay, let's do this. So let's do this again. 
And can we recruit something? Let's. Oh, we could do some line infantry, light in, line infantry actually. Okay. So. Oh yeah, these these guys. Um. How about a, how about a piece? Just for now, crisp piece. No. Okay. Well, you know, actually, the last time I gave you peace, you just spat in my face the first moment you had the opportunity. So I know I shouldn't have trusted them. Do you want one thousand for a trade agreement? No way, Hanover. No way. Because you're just probably going to get run over by the next German state. Actually, you don't have a general. No. It's just invading me like that? Like that's going to work? No, I mean, if you, if you want to try that, it's completely up to you. But, I mean, that's just... That's just strange. <laughs> uh, huh. Let's get some... The guards, huh? I mean, it would be yeah. Let's get a unit of guards. Could get some militia again, but is that gonna work realistically? Probably heading for this. Maybe we just try and overwhelm them. With numbers. Could that work? I mean, possibly, but I don't know. Hmm. How's Rome? Huh, not much there. Not much there indeed. So France hates us, Russia's not very happy, but our two main allies are very happy. Also, the German states, the Wurttemberg and Bavaria. Quite happy with us, of course. Bavaria also not want Saxony. Don't really care about like um, Norway, Sweden, Denmark. They all hate each other anyway, so it's completely fine. But I do want some trade agreements. God damn it, Morocco. No, Portugal. Nope, France. France would be reasonable. Yep. <laughs> For some reason, the miners never want to trade with you with the majors. I have no problem with that. Come on, Italian states, give it up. No, ain't happening. How about you give it up? And I'll give you a region. And I'll give you 576. Very sad, very sad indeed. So hopefully the Italians stall a bit, don't really do much. Then we can march on Rome. And uh, Roma will not invicta anymore. <laughs> Sad. I do want to actually play some, like, some intelli- Oh my goodness, that army in Danzig got slaughtered by a, just a s tiny, pro tiny Polish division, force, whatever. That's insane. Is it like all guards or something? Was that all cavalry and the guards just formed a square? Maybe it was all artillery and the Polish uh, units had, like, cavalry and it just smashed through? Hmm. <laughs> I mean, that's a possibility. I don't know if, I, if it's reasonable. Hmm. Okay, so we know we now completely own... Savoy is actually doing quite, quite good. Still surviving against the Spanish, French, whatever they were. Something or other. Could we call... Nah, let's not call Bavaria into anything. Building sabotaged. Maybe that's okay. Didn't hurt our income, actually. Our income increased. Nation destroyed. Cherokee. Venice is besieged. Black Blackbeard finally killed. Okay, so this is our force. This is their force. Can we win? I think we'll win fairly reasonably well. First, let's try and get some peace. No, let's try and get some peace, and I'll give you, okay, again, a trade agreement, and I'll give you a th 2,000. No, let's get a peace, I'll give you a trade agreement, and let's get, give you 3,000. No. Ugh, that's annoying. So we'll really have to fight this, eh? I mean, we'll win probably fairly easily. Cavalry, if you actually discount the artillery, this army is weak as hell. 
The artillery is probably not going to do that much damage to this. The artillery and empires all were sucks. Okay, so this this is a fairly okay situation. Are they still going to reinforce? That's a question. Because, yeah, turns until surrender. If these guys actually reinforce fully, the burn will destroy them. If they don't, well, it's a siege battle. We'll destroy them either way, but, you know, that's gonna be a big old question. So, I don't know. I guess, uh, yeah, so I guess this is where I leave off the, uh, the video for now. So, hopefully, you enjoyed episode 3 of this uh, Austrian campaign. So we finally captured Greece, uh, captured um, Patras, Morea, something like that, captured Venice, and uh, yeah, completely destroyed the Venetian faction, and now we are about to destroy the Italians in a battle of Venice. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, see you next time.